Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. Families staying at the Salvation Army in Macon now have a new way to distract them from difficult times. A new basketball court opened today at the Peyton Anderson men's residence to go along with the playground that opened earlier this year. 41 NBC's Taylor Gilchrist has more. In times of need, the Salvation Army of Greater Macon acts as the road to recovery for many people. I'm trying to get help with housing. Um, um, like I said, I, I had my own place, but due to unforeseen, due to, due to unforeseen circumstances, I um, lost my place, so I came here immediately after. So I've been here ever since June 17th. The Salvation Army has been home for Carlos Hall for over a month. The new basketball court at the facility is next to the playground that opened earlier this year. Hall said he's enjoyed seeing children find happiness again on the playground, and he'll use the basketball court to do the same until he's back on his feet. You know, to relieve our minds or whatever may be going on, and to get stress off. Also, um, being out here, it'll give us a way to exercise and, you know, just stay active. Sergeant Sarah Sturdivant knows how crucial the Salvation Army is in rebuilding lives due to personal experience. She says the organization remains committed to reminding residents that they are greater than their circumstances. I know that their, their lives are a little upside down when they come to see us and we're trying to bring them back to a sense of stability and have a, a place where they can go and just have fun and, and, and be kids or be adults where they can just do some b-ball together. We just are very excited to be able to offer that to them. Sarah Sturdivant and her husband Austin serve as the leaders of the Salvation Army of Greater Macon. The couple both grew up in the Salvation Army themselves. Sergeant Sarah says being in the position to help others now is a testament to how small pockets of joy like playing outside can lead to a better future for residents facing adversity. They're not just their their financial situation or their um, lodging situation. That's not who they are. That doesn't define them. Being a human defines them. Being a human who cares for people, who enjoys each other's company, who can just unwind and relax and, and be. And we just want to remind them that they're not their situation. In Macon, Taylor Gilchrist, 41 NBC News. And said the two projects cost a combined total of about $50,000. The Center of Hope Play Space was funded by several donations from local organizations.